Hi beauties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be vlogging and taking you along with me on this super exciting journey. We are going to be picking up one of the biggest pizzas I've ever seen before um, and I will talk more about the process of ordering it, the place and all of that when we get in the car so let's go. We just arrived at the location, we are at La Mana's Bakery, they have food for you to take out, they have pizzas, they have desserts as well. We opted for the Big Slice which is what they are known for here, they've had the Big Slice since 2004 and guys we ordered the most basic slice ever, we just got mushrooms, mozzarella tomato and salami so we will show you what that looks like when we get home um, and we will talk more about the process of ordering one of these big slices if you guys are interested and I will definitely leave the link to their website down below in the description box so be sure to check them out So we just got back home from La Mana's in Scarborough. If you are familiar with the GTA, it's located at Morningside in 401, just around that area. So the whole car ride home, it's about, I'd say half, half hour, about yeah. a half hour drive. So uh, the whole car ride, the smell just filled the car. Guys, my mouth was watering the whole time. <laughs> so I'm really excited to, to dig into this big pizza here. So basically our pizza we got was pepperoni, mushrooms, mozzarella cheese. And tomato sauce. And tomato sauce. Um, and in terms of pricing, we paid around $38. Every additional topping is $2 each. Yeah. So yeah, again, total around $38. I think for the size, $38 is not bad. That's pretty good. It's literally good. half the size of both of us. Um, the way you order is you can go onto their website. It tells you to order 24 hours prior to um, wanting to pick it up. Uh, the last time we tried to order it 24 hours beforehand, they were kind of sold out. So if you do want to order, I would recommend maybe ordering a week before you want to pick up. We Definitely. we ended up ordering it two weeks before we wanted to pick it up to guarantee a spot, but it looks delicious, it's huge, and we're ready to finally dig in. Kevin's cutting our pizza slices. First of all, absolutely huge. I asked you guys on my Instagram stories a couple weeks ago to ask us some questions that we would answer while we eat. So I'm gonna go ahead, pull up the questions, and then we will start answering some of the questions that you had. Okay, so I'm gonna pull up our first question, which is, how did we meet? All right, I guess I'll start it off. Um, so yeah, basically Steph and I met back in grade 11. Uh, we both worked at Shoppers Drug Mart. I was uh, in the back as a post office clerk, and Steph was actually in the front as a <laughs> cashier. So um, yeah, essentially we just met at Shoppers Drug Mart, became good friends, and then Later on in the end of 2013, we started dating, and that's pretty much it. It's actually so good. Okay, next question. What's our next travel destination? Now, we don't have one in mind. Like, we haven't booked anything, but I would like to go to Europe, and I'm sure he would like to go to Europe. It's a little bit expensive. But I've actually never been to Europe, so I definitely would want to go. That's one of those uh, bucket list plots that I want to go, and I get to see Italy. So yeah, <laughs> um, so yeah, I think Italy, Europe, London, all of those places would probably be our next destination. Definitely, definitely. I'm still on my first piece. It's actually so big, but really good pizza. Definitely check them out. Um, our next question is our favorite way to decide about date night. <laughs> so. If you guys don't know, this is a fun one, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we literally play rock paper scissors for everything, for every decision we make, for who's paying what. We always do rock paper scissors. Live and die by rock paper scissors. Yeah, <laughs> for real. This is like that's all we do. Um, so I guess our favorite way to decide would be we both come up with options, play rock paper scissors, see who wins, and I guess that's just. How we go about it. So quick progress report in terms of how much we've eaten. <laughs> to be honest, I think I've eaten most, the most of it. So we're about, I don't know, would you say that's half? I think that's still more. No, I think it's like a quarter. Yeah. Yeah, we're a quarter so. done the pizza. This is definitely going to take us a couple of days. Let's move on to the next question. Okay. The next question is, how long have you guys been together? You can answer this. 
Hopefully I'm right, guys. <laughs> Anyways, um, we've been together for about six and a half years, I believe. Is that right? Six and a half years. It just passed six and a half. So I passed, I passed guys. <laughs> I passed. Definitely, uh, six years. Six years is quite some time. New adventures, new memories. Pretty much, we've grown up. Yeah, pretty much grown up as adults together. So there's that. But talking about memories, we actually have a question. Um, what is your favorite memory of each other? I, I assume it would be favorite memory with each other. Favorite memory with each other. Hmm. That's a good question. That is a great question. I would say our trips. I think our trips, yeah. We've gone on two major trips together. So we've gone on oh, two I, cruises. I'd say three trips. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, true. Florida, three trips. I forgot, I forgot. We went to on a cruise twice and we went to Florida a couple years ago. So. We have three trips, and I would say those are our favorite memories. <laughs> <laughs> our last question that we're going to answer in today's video is what are three qualities that you love about each other? You can go first. <laughs> oh, I mean... It's not ladies <laughs> first this time. Um, three qualities? Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm listening. <laughs> um, three qualities that... that I admire, I guess, of Steph. No, love. love. It's love. love. Okay, love, love. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, love would be that um, she's determined, as you can see with her blog. <laughs> and guys, if you haven't seen it, she's on the support page. So that's, uh, that's A1. <laughs> so yeah, so she's very determined. Um, she's always down to, to do whatever. You know, most of the time. Most of the time. I mean, if you, ha if you didn't know, she has a few phobias. What it, <laughs> no, I have never told them, but I'm claustrophobic. So anything that has to do with an elevator, I won't do. But for the most part, yeah. She's always down to do mm -hmm. things. And always down to do new adventures and create new memories, which I do love. I love making memories. And I'd say the third one would be, I guess, her smile. My heart. <laughs> now, now, now it's my turn to you. Okay. <laughs> I love this. By the way, we have not read these questions beforehand, so... I didn't know any of this was coming. I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> um, three qualities. Um, <laughs> wow, guys. <laughs> um, Six years. <laughs> three qualities. Okay, I have my three qualities. I admire, I love the fact that he's a hard worker when he has to be. Like, when he has something in his mind, he has to get it done. Um, which also shows that he's very determined. Um, so I really do love that. Um, number two would be. Um, I was like pulling teeth, guys. <laughs> um, number two would be. <laughs> oh, that he's great with his family. I love that quality. I love that he's such like a family person. That he's very respectful. Um, and then he truly does put his family first. There are so many situations um, that could come up and that his family always comes first no matter what. So that is definitely a quality I love. And number three, I would say that he knows everything. Like you can ask him anything to fix something for you. Um, like my computer, IT, he's my IT department. He helps with cars. He puts the gas in. So he's really good at <laughs> From the gassing guys. <laughs> Such a hard <laughs> You know what? Sometimes it is. But anyways, I love the fact that he knows everything. You can ask him to fix whatever it is. Ask him a question. He's very book smart, but also very street smart. So, so that is the end of today's video. But Kevin's gonna give you a little update on how far we've gotten with this pizza. So, Kevin, show them. So instead of taking it just the box, I'm gonna take out the whole pizza that we have left over just to give that full effect. But guys, look at this. We're not even done half. And we're probably gonna have to keep this for probably later on. Probably and probably the whole week. The whole week, probably. This is gonna be left over for the whole week. Yeah. That is the end of today's video. We hope you guys enjoyed watching us eat this pizza, this enormous pizza, and answer some of your questions. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, give this video a big thumbs up, and follow me on my socials, which are linked down below in the description box. And we hope to see you in my next video. Ciao for now.